Good afternoon. Welcome to the celebration of the Holy Eucharist and the reception of First Communion. On behalf of our entire parish, we welcome the family and friends of our young people who gather here in our sacred place this day, and also those who participate by live streaming. This is a graced and wonderful event, not only for our young people and their families, but also for our entire parish. Just some housekeeping issues. We wish to remind you that we must have a one-way flow of people in the church. The main aisle comes towards the altar, and at the time of First Communion, the communicants and their family will receive first by coming to the front by means of the main aisle and then returning to their seats by the two side aisles. At the completion of communion, rather, you're asked to leave by means of the side aisles and side doors. After completion of First Communion for our young peoples and their families, the remaining people in the church, our parishioners, are most welcome to come to communion. Ambassadors will be present to direct you. After you receive communion in the hand, you're asked to hold your hand open flat. Please step over to the green box area in the rug. Uh, remove your facial covering, receive communion, and restore your facial covering, then receive, re leave by the side aisle. For the young people, when they come up, they are not to be wearing a mask at that point. They are to hold one hand out very flat. I say the body of Christ, you answer amen. You use your other hand, place it in your mouth, and then you step over and wait your family. We remind everyone that a professional photographer is present to take the official picture and that this is a religious event and no other pictures should be taken. After which you're most welcome to wander all over the grounds for whatever pictures you may like to take. Thank you all very much. Please stand for the gathering hymn. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. This is indeed a wondrous day for all of us to gather here in this sanctuary of God to celebrate the Holy Eucharist and be witnesses of our young people as they receive the body of Christ for the first time. To prepare ourselves for the sacred mysteries and this celebration, let us pause and call to mind our failures and our wrongdoings and ask for the Lord's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to us. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to us in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. 
let us bow our heads in prayer. O oh God, you who have accomplished the work of human redemption through the sacred mystery of your only begotten Son, graciously grant that we, who confidently proclaim under the sacramental signs of the death and resurrection of Christ, may experience a continued increase of your saving grace. We pray for our young people this day. Give them grace, light, and your special protection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated for the scriptural lessons. One day, Paul, a friend of Jesus, wrote a letter to some other Christians, and this is what he said. The cup of wine that we share makes us one in the very life of Jesus and the bread that we eat together in memory of him is also a sharing in his life. It seems strange that we all share the same life together, and yet we do. We are all one family because we share the same bread and the same cup of wine. The word of the Lord. stand for the acclamation and proclamation of the gospel. be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. People were bringing children to Jesus that he might touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he became indignant and said to the disciples, let the children come to me, don't prevent them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Amen, I say to you, whoever does not accept the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it. Then he embraced them and blessed them, placing his hands on them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. So my task at this point of the, as being main celebrant of the Mass and with the great honor of giving you First Communion for the first time is to give a brief sort of spiritual talk. It doesn't start too spiritual, but it ends spiritual. I have two great memories 
about church, going to church. And I usually ask the young people to give a guess, but for the pandemic reasons, I'm going to sort of tell you what everyone guesses and what the real answers are. So usually one of the very first guesses, because the kids are smart, you people are very smart, is my memory of baptism. Because everyone knows baptism is the first sacrament when you become baptized in Jesus Christ with the water by the priest or deacon. The problem with that is I was an itty-bitty baby, much like yourselves when I was baptized. And little babies have no memories. There's a cute one there, I think. Absolutely no recall. These boys will remember the brothers, but not that baby. So, excellent guess, but not correct. And then the other great guess, people have in their hearts hopes and dreams, and they say, oh, it must be when you got married. Whoa, baby. No, I'm a priest. I'm unmarried. And in my definition is, I'm an unclaimed treasure. Okay? And secondly, as we well know, there's some lady in life who every day thanks God she isn't married to me. (laughs) So those two great, excellent, thoughtful guests are not correct. These are the two great memories. I'm going to tell you the more recent one first. Now, a long time ago, I was ordained a priest in the cathedral in Boston, the big, big church, probably six times the size of this, by Cardinal Medeiros. It was my honor and privilege to be ordained a priest and serve the church. So that's one of, that's my great adult memory. My best memory, though, more than all of anything else, is when I made my first communion. And I'll tell you the reason why. Ever since I remember, probably from the age of between three and four, every Sunday, my parents and us six kids always went to church. Rain, sun, snow, sleet, ice, it didn't matter. We were put into the beach wagon and off we went to church, all dressed up for Sunday Mass. And when I was younger, four, five, six, and seven, when my parents and my older brothers and sister went to communion, I would end up walking up with them, but I couldn't receive. I always felt left out, like maybe I didn't belong. So ever since I was that young, I really, really, really wanted to make my first communion because I wanted to belong like all my older brother and sister and my parents and what I thought was everybody in the church. I wanted to belong and be connected. So when I made my first communion, when I received Jesus for the first time. Boy, did I feel I belonged. Boy, did I feel I was connected. So I want all you to know how special today is. You, for the first time, receive into yourself the sacred body, the sacred presence presence of Jesus Christ. And somehow, we don't have to know how, I've never been able to figure it out, we are changed. And sometime during the coming week, you will do something better, something holy will happen, because God has been present in you through communion. So, Welcome for belonging so much. You are truly, truly connected to the Church of Christ, the Body of Christ, to 
everyone. Your baptism made you a child of God, and First Communion makes you truly belong to the body of Jesus Christ. Please stand for the prayer of the faithful. Loving Father, we present to you these prayers and petitions. We pray for all our families. May God bless them and keep them safe, we pray to the Lord. For all those serving in the military, we pray to the Lord. For peace in the world, we pray to the Lord. For those who are sick and hospitalized, we pray to the Lord. For the petitions on the St. Mary prayer wall, we pray to the Lord. In a special way today, we pray, we pray for Florence Ann Scapatici Jerome. We pray to the Lord. And we ask God to bless everyone in this church and people throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. Loving Father, you always hear our prayers. Hear these prayers and the prayers that are in our hearts. And we ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, through the power of the Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For at the Last Supper with his apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, Christ offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament so that bathed in your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities. Therefore, 
All creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the hosts of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread in giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring us to the fullness of charity with Francis, our Pope, Sean Patrick, our Bishop. Remember also your servant, Florence, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who is united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, the apostles and saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours, O God, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. 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 Please stand. Let us ask our Father in heaven to forgive us our failures and trespasses and to bring us to forgive those who have failed us or trespassed against us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a nod sign of peace. be seated for the reception of communion. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of our world. Graced are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be.
captive free. I am the life that raises up the dead. I am your peace, true peace, my gift to you. Take and eat, take and eat. This is my body given up for you. Take
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he set his face to look upon May he let his face shine upon you and show you his mercy. May he turn his countenance toward you and give you his peace. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go in peace. Ship.